Please download Telugu Stop Android app in Play Store or iOS app in App Store and stay tuned to latest news as it happens. The Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, is in power at the center and is enjoying the status of the union government. But if we look at the aspect from a critical point of view, the BJP is in power only in a few states and it is not in power in any South Indian state. Earlier it was in power in Karnataka and the Saffron Party lost it too. It's not that BJP is not trying to spread its wings in the southern states. It tried its level best but in vain. Kerala is the strong fortress of communists and BJP cannot enter it. Coming to Tamil Nadu, it is the hotbed for Dravidian politics. The BJP had managed to win a few MLA and MP seats in Telangana. It cannot focus on AP as the party did not do anything for the state. On top of this, there is a strong criticism that the BJP is ignoring the southern states. We have heard this many times. A few states openly said that the money they give to the center is much higher than what they get in return. There is also a criticism that the BJP ruled states get more allocation of funds compared to others. Criticism of the center ignoring the southern states and preferring the northern states over the south is not new. But the opinion is getting the required momentum with the political fight between the BJP and the regional parties. Opponents say that the ignorance of the BJP towards the southern states is such that even the leaders from the south won't get big posts in the cabinet. On the other hand, we cannot name the big institutions that were granted to the southern states. This is the same case with the funds as well. As if this is not enough. The BJP ignored the South even in the simultaneous elections committee. The dedicated committee led by former President Ramnath Kovind aims to study issues that come under the simultaneous elections. A few southern states also go to the polls. Despite this, no leader from the South was given a spot in the committee. It's not that there are no BJP leaders in the region. We have people like Raghunanang Rao, Etila Rajender, and others who are very familiar with various aspects like geography and cultural essence. If the BJP wants it can also add veteran BJP leader Venkia Naidu to the team. However, there is no assurance on whether he will accept the offer or not. Many wonder how the BJP can ignore the southern states despite the aim to come to power here. BJP often says that it will come to power in Telangana. But not even one person from the south was in the committee. The ruling BRS in the state already started attacking the BJP on this. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to channel and click on bell for more daily videos.